Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is how to create a Wolfenstein 3D FPS clone in Unity. Welcome to episode 20. In this tutorial we're going to take a look at adding in some gold which is going to act as a collectible and obviously with that we're going to start looking at creating a score for the game. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and click that bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial still to come in this series and everything else on game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So, collectibles uh, are going to work pretty much the same kind of way as what we have, say, with the clip and with our handgun over here. Uh, so basically what we're going to have to do is find ourselves a nice little asset that we could use as a collectible. Um, now, if we go to the asset store, I uh, actually already have this uh, downloaded and installed, but basically it's a free little asset that I found. And the way I found it was I just searched for gold and then I clicked on free assets, obviously because everything we do here is free. If you want to use a paid asset, that's completely fine. If you want to use a different asset, again, that's completely fine. So it is this medieval gold. So we're going to use like gold bars, basically. That's what I'm aiming for here. So you just import it download it, whatever you need to do to bring it into your project. It's only small, it's only 1.2 megabytes. Uh, obviously, it is free at this point. If it isn't free when you come to do it, then um, you would just, you know, if you want to pay, that's fine. Or, like I say, a different asset. So, heading back to the scene, uh, we have a couple of different things. I'm just going to use this gold ingot right here. And I'm going to bring it into the scene and increase the size. So let's have it as 3 by 3 by 3. And it's up to you whether you want to have it as a single or whether you want to have, I don't know, like 3 together. So you could, for example, take that, bring it like that, and add another one. Like, you know what I mean. Like a, li a little stack, a mini stack of gold, as it were. So I'm going to have these basically like that just just a, a little stack of gold and that's our collectible so the way we're going to do this is we're going to group them together in their own object so on the first one uh if i can find it it's at the top uh, let's right click and let's have uh, create empty so we have an empty game object and uncouple it out of there drag and drop those three objects straight into there if we can find it there we go so that'll act as one whole object, as we can see. Now what I'm going to do is let's add that to a cube. So game object, uh, 3D object, cube. And this cube is going to act as the entire trigger for this thing. And the only reason I'm doing this the way I'm doing it is because, like I say, I have three gold ingots to have a little stack for the collectible. So let's have that there. Uh, probably shrink it down a little bit. So let's have that as 0.5, I guess. How does that look? That looks pretty decent, actually. Quite happy with that. Let's turn off the mesh renderer and let's rename that to. Oops, we didn't want to insert a new one. Let's just rename, didn't we? Uh, rename and call it Gold Ingots or whatever your collectible is. And finally, let's drag that game object into that trigger cube. And let's rename that game object as well, just something relevant, uh, ingots. And finally, let's click on is trigger right there. So because we've already kind of written uh, a basic script of collecting via a trigger, we can actually recycle and use that um, later on. But what we're going to do first is set up the score UI on our canvas. So let's go to our canvas, if I can find it right there. And the score is going to be next to the lives just here. So what I'm going to do is click lives, life panel, hold control, press D, duplicate it and bring it across, probably to about there. And let's just expand it to the size we need it to be. So let's say that and rename it to score panel. And then let's go to life label, rename that to score label and same again with life value score value and then let's change the word lives to score so that's all in place it's as simple as that to set up a score and obviously if we press play now we can quickly check that it does look okay fingers crossed it does it does indeed that's fine so let's now make some scripts to handle this score so let's go to our scripts folder down here 
And if we go to stats here, we have, remember, global health, global life, and level recycle, or recycle level. And we're going to use the same as what we've basically done for global life. So what I'm going to do is hold control press D on global life. Duplicate it. Rename it to... Oops, turn the caps off. Global score. And let's open that up in Visual Studio. So like I say, the way this is going to work is we have this script which is going to monitor our score. And when we collect uh, this uh, these pack of gold ingots, it gives us a score of however much. Let's say, uh, should we say 500 for now? Obviously, you can change that score as and when you need to. And then obviously, we can work more and more on score as we go further along the series. For example, killing enemies. So it's just loading up now. Um, so we just need to quickly modify a couple of things in this script. And obviously, if you have a problem, you can download the script on the website. If you head over there, downloads and assets, uh, Wolfenstein clone series, and it's right there for you. So let's change this to global score, same as a script name. Uh, let's change the game object to score display. Um, we'll change this to score value. And by default, we're going to have it set as zero because when we want uh, the map or level, whatever you want to call it, to start, it will be zero. And then we'll have this as internal score. So obviously, because we've changed them, we need to change them down here. So internal score equals score value. Score display uh, is all that. And then score value and save the script. So all we've done is basically replace the word life with the word score. Like I said, the logistics of it, of this script, are the exact same as what we've done in other scripts. There's no point retyping everything out when the script already exists. It will save you a bunch of time. So let's head back into Unity now. And we'll let it just compile. And the errors should have disappeared. They have. Excellent. So now we need to attach this script to our uh, scene. And... We have that uh, health container object, so we're going to do the same for... Uh, well, I guess you can attach it to this if you want to. Um, we could change this uh, health container object to... Um, I don't know, global container. So it contains uh, some more scripts rather than just life. You know, I guess uh, it just reduces the amount we have in our hierarchy. So after we've renamed that, let's drag and drop our global score over here. And score display, let's have that brought over there. So this is now a live section of our UI because it's relating to this. So the key thing to do here would be to trigger that collectible and add to our score and also make it disappear because once we've picked it up, we want it to go. We want to give the illusion of we've actually picked it up. So let's head back to that gold ingot stack right there and now we just need to write the script to do so so i am going to create a new folder and i'm going to call this environment so any environmental scripts i.e collecting and that kind of stuff finishing a level will be within here so right click create c sharp script and let's call this gold collect and open that up in visual studio so, because we already have, uh, like I said, some other scripts that do roughly the same sort of thing, if we head to, um, is it going to be weapons? I think it's weapons, isn't it? Uh, handgun pickup. So I'm going to open that script as well. Uh, so notice at the top I have handgun pickup and gold collect next to it. We're going to do pretty much the same sort of thing here. Uh, we do have a pickup sound for the gold, which I'll import uh, in a little bit. Um, but basically, we don't necessarily need to have um, any of this going on. Uh, so the pickup display, uh, obviously, is not going to be handgun. It's going to say gold or whatever, because if I quickly press play now and head over to the handgun, you'll see at the top handgun. So we do need to change that from handgun to gold. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy from here 
down to here because once again there's no point retyping everything out when we can just modify a couple of little things so let's head to our gold collect script and get rid of everything inside the class and then paste next thing we'll need to do is add in the namespace at the top for the ui so using unity engine dot ui semicolon and then we can get rid of, um, let's get rid of real handgun because this isn't related to a handgun. We don't hold anything in our hand. So we can change um, this real handgun. That line can go. The fake handgun is going to become uh, gold ingots. Audio source, we'll have that as uh, collect sound. And pickup display is going to be, in fact, we can keep that the same simply because it's going to relate to the same object within our scene. Um, so fake handgun, uh, let's see, that needs to be changed to gold ingots. And handgun pickup sound is going to be collect sound. So, oh, have we done that right? Let's no. Should be a capital S, camel casing, camel casing, Jimmy. So what we're doing here is we're saying we're going to turn off the gold ingots. We're going to play the collect sound and then turn off the box collider for the trigger. I'm not going to disable this object because we could actually utilize the same object in different places. Rather than have multiple clones of this gold pickup, we can have it in different places. We can move it around so we're saving ourselves time and energy and resources within the game. So let's save that script. Oh, we've got to change handgun. We'll say gold ingots and resave. Head back into Unity and let it compile. And it seems okay. No errors. Perfect. So let's drag and drop that collect gold or gold collect onto our gold ingots right there. So next thing, let's bring in some sound effects. So audio effects, and I'm going to drag and drop this collect sound straight into Unity. And again, you can download this on the website. If you head over there, go to downloads and assets, Wolfenstein clone, and you can get it there under tutorial 20. So let's add this sound effect onto our player. So FPS controller, audio, effects, and let's duplicate that hurt 003 and rename this to collect sound. And all this is, is just a little jingle of uh, like a metal sound to say we've picked something up. So that collect sound is going to be attached to here. So let's start with that one. Move my windows around there. Uh, collect sound moves into collect sound. Gold ingots will indeed be the ingots inside the gold ingots. So make sure that is the game object, not the cube itself. Uh, pick up display is, if I can remember where it is, this one, pick up text right there. So what we'll do now is, fingers crossed, uh, I will save the scene, press play. We'll go over, we'll make sure we can kill our enemy again, and then we'll pick up our score. But I have just realized something. As I press play there, I've just realized we haven't added anything within <laughs> the actual script to say add 500 to the score. So let's head back into the goal collect script, and we'll actually make that the first line of code inside the method. So we'll say global score dot and uh, let's find it score value plus equals 500 semicolon and save so now we should and should not have a problem we should be able to collect that gold and add to our score so let's give this a go so let's pick up our gun uh, let's pick up some ammo and let's go shoot our there we go there we goes and now let's collect oh, oh him as well there we go I forgot we had him there so let's collect our gold there we go gold ingots perfect 
So, that is how we can do our collectibles. And obviously, you can have anything as a collectible. You're not restricted to just this particular game object. So, I am quickly going to add a little bit more to this level while I talk to you about what we're going to do in the next tutorial. So next time, uh, we're going to add scoring for when we kill our enemies, because currently they don't give anything to us, and we probably want something from them. So we're going to add that in. Uh, we'll probably add some more level uh, to this area, so probably bring in some more textures, more to see, more to do. Uh, and I think we'll add in some food as well, you know, to add our health back in, because I think that'll become quite relevant, because it'll get to a point where, yep, our enemies are shooting us, and we're low on health, so we need to find some food to heal ourselves. So I think that's where we're going to go in the next tutorial as well. So until that next tutorial, guys, what I think you need to do is you add in your collectibles, and hopefully, hopefully your levels are a lot bigger than mine are right now, because mine is fairly small because I've not had the time to kind of build it up. Uh, so yeah, until that next tutorial, guys, thank you very much for watching.